Do, 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 do. Are we live? <laughs> this stream's been demonetized already, man. Uh, da, da, da. Yo, what's up, Ash? It's Thursday, is it? I don't think it is Thursday. I think it's Wednesday, right about now. Um, I'm. I basically, I got a quick request for a channel review, and I, I wanted to do it real quick. Um, honestly, I'm super, super tired. Wait, let me do the intro. Yo, what's going on? <laughs> I'm Jay Carter Ray uh, from GrowOnYouTube.com, teaching you how to be better. In this stream, I'm going to be reviewing a uh, YouTube gaming channel and showing you guys how to basically grow a YouTube gaming channel and make more money on that YouTube gaming channel because I think that was one of the main concerns from this channel. Uh, I just need to quickly check my tags and stuff because I'm, this is the first time that I'm streaming from XSplit and when I was setting up the stream it asked me like for my tags and all that sort of stuff and it said that one of my tags were too long so i had to check to see if my tags actually came up let's request a review for this stream although that's not really going to help us hey tim jr i said i spent 45 minutes filming then had to refilm anything as i had something on my face <laughs> It happens, it happens, it happens. Uh, if you guys want a channel review, link should be in the description to apply for a channel review. Um, I'm probably not going to do a bunch because honestly, I am very, very tired. I should be going to bed, but I, I saw this quick request for a channel review and I just, you know, I got excited. I wanted to do it to um, help this gentleman out and also, you know, just get it done and then you know move on to other things tomorrow and by the way my green screen is fuzzy as shit i don't know why um as i said first time i'm using xsplit i'll need to figure it out to get this to work a little bit better so that my green screen isn't so fuzzy but you know i, I kind of look like i'm sparkling like one of those vampires from twilight but we gotta just deal with it we're gonna get into the channel review very very soon let me just quickly check the comments shit i should have got up my what was it called restream let me get that up so i can see all the comments i said the refilm was better though to be honest so i'm not bothered i scripted it and the first time i was fucking up so much the second time i knew the gist of what i planned to say so i went with it yeah that's what happens that's what happens can you guys hear me okay yeah is the audio cool like when you mess something up and you have to do it again you generally will uh, get it better than the first time am i not logged into this oh come on I will quickly log into Restream so that I can see all these comments. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But honestly, I don't see any comments popping up on Restream. I don't know if it's gonna work. <laughs> Someone sent a comment real quick. Okay, good on audio, yes. Okay, stuff is happening. Ash says, yeah, audio is cool, Glitter Fairy. All right. I'm unsure if the gentleman of whose channel I'm going to review is actually in this in this stream right about now. I feel like I should give it like five minutes or whatever, but he can he can come back and, and watch this man. He can come back and watch it. So this is the channel. Let me quickly bring up the actual application and background so I can specifically answer the questions that he wanted uh, wanted feedback on. But let's let's quickly do a quick overview. So first of all, this channel art looks pretty good um it shows me that you're focusing on nintendo type games and i think from your channel trailer i think that was that was correct you did say you was focusing on nintendo games and you was focusing on uh tutorials and tips and tricks and and that sort of stuff looks looks quite nice looks quite nice but but you haven't said in this channel are the type of videos that you're going to be making i think that definitely needs to be here uh, like right here just say you're going to be making tips tutorials also maybe say you don't actually need to put in the nintendo stuff because you've kind of communicated that with the the background art but you know it's, it's good stuff i like the fading i think it all works together um i don't think it's i don't think it's too messy i, I don't know why you've got splatoon 2 hair so prominent when when i've looked through your videos don't really see a lot of a focus on Splatoon 2. Like with this and with the title there, I'm led to believe that there's going to be a load of Splatoon 2 on the channel, which it doesn't seem like that's actually the case. 
so i would i would change that i would uh, get rid of that maybe you could put your channel name which is redundant to be honest but I, I would focus on getting the information on the type of videos that you upload and also the days which you upload or the frequency to which you upload every week hi chuckle lump gaming how you doing man remember if you guys want to apply for a channel review uh link is in the description so you've got a channel trailer that is very very good you, um my name is blah 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 thanks for stopping by the channel this is for anybody who's looking to learn some tips and tricks about gaming without having big videos drag on forever very good uh value proposition right here like and you've you've done the description well so that when people come to your channel they effectively see this straight away and they can read this and understand what the channel is about and what they're going to get from it and then they can watch your channel review which basically communicates the same thing although when i did look through your videos didn't see a lot of tutorials honestly um look a first look at this game a review i, I i'm unsure what this is it seems like a news type of video you got a glitch video not a lot of tutorials like with what you said saying that you're going to put out regular tutorials and stuff i would expect at least every other video to be a tutorial at least one in five like one in five to be a tutorial i think that's a reasonable ex uh, um not explanation expectation but that's not that's not the case on this particular channel so i'd try and get more more tutorials in there which will actually help you grow as you'll be creating evergreen content that will grow over time and bring more people to your channel uh, let me quickly go over the the questions that you've got over here so you're saying you upload three videos per week usually two videos on one live stream that's not too bad that's uh, pretty cool three videos a week is pretty much the minimum you should be doing for like growth two tutorial videos would be good and one live stream that would be a good content strategy so that you've got the two videos that are generating traffic and then you've got the live stream that has the hub content where you chill out with your subscribers and that sort of stuff uh hey daryl gang how many videos do you have on your channel you said you've got about 90 that's a good nice amount of catalog uh for your big, biggest struggles on youtube you said thumbnails i can see that although your thumbnails aren't they aren't terrible this thumbnail is pretty nice this thumbnail i would change uh, i don't really like the the text over here i think it doesn't really stand out enough and then you've got this super mario galaxy thing which i would make a little bit smaller or move it over to the right or something so it's not so close to each other um thumbnails i think you'll just get better with those over time just doing more thumbnails these aren't they're not the worst thumbnails um you definitely can improve i would suggest you try and work on these in terms of these rectangle boxes in the back i would i would make them a little less opaque and that would actually make make your thumbnails look a little better um and it would also make the text pop out see over here you've just gotten rid of the, the rectangles i don't know what happened there what, what made you made you do that but yeah thumbnails definitely something you should be working on honestly i say less is more go as simple as possible and don't try and do too much don't try and be too fancy and just try and communicate what's going on in the video like it's it's pretty you pretty much it's they're okay they're okay they're not they're not great but they're not like oh i'm feeling sick looking at them they're, they're okay in it hey anisa how you doing um second biggest struggle is learning where i should post advertise my video after it's up honestly in terms of advertising your video i wouldn't be too worried about that to be honest um i would just focus on making search friendly content let's actually get into one of these videos and let me see if we've got a how-to video or something that can rank well in search like you haven't got a lot of how-to videos which i would expect for someone who's focusing on tutorials and tips but i'm not seeing a lot of them over here how to find ns snes classic okay so that's that's a how-to video let's see what you got over here let's mute that 
Anissa said you're one of is it Anissa? Did I do Anissa or Anissa? Now I've forgotten how to pronounce your name. Now you said you're one of the few people that have ever pronounced my name right. Now I've gotten paranoid that I totally don't know how to pronounce your name. <laughs> I think it's Anissa, right? Because of the two S's. Anissa would be one S, I, I would I would believe. But I, I think I'm I'm okay at pronouncing names because I generally just use phonics and <laughs> read them how they're spelled. So let's look at these tags. How to find SNES Classic. Mm -mm -mm. Not too bad. I mean, that's pretty much what, what you're going to be doing there. Um, yeah. And you've got 766 views. So, you know, this 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 is ranking. And as, as you can see, it's bringing in traffic. I would say more videos like this that have how to at the beginning. Let's see. Do you say how to in here at all? No. But you, you are telling a wild... You, you basically written a blog post over here. But... I would suggest getting how to find SNES Classic in here. So today I'm going to... Oh no, you do have that. My bad. How to find SNES Classic. So you got it in there. Not too bad. Not too bad. So you've got that in there. Um, I would say focus on using SEO to bring traffic to your channel instead of trying to use other social media platforms to try and divert traffic to there. Because the thing is, yeah, the thing, the thing is, a lot of people, they... Oh, it's Anissa. My bad. A lot of people, they think that, you know, you put up a video and then you promote it on all the social media platforms. But honestly, if you have no following, which most people who are starting out on YouTube do, like they have no following on other social media platforms, you're wasting your time. What is the point of posting your video on another social media platform? You're just posting it over there so that people can skip past it or no one sees it like there's there's no real reason to do that if you want to build your other social media pl platforms then yes you can do that i suggest you focus on two three maximum and you just build those and consistently provide value on those platforms don't think of it as a distribution channel to promote your videos just think of it as a place where you're growing your audience natively on that platform for example on twitter get involved in a conversation around your niche and then you know you can have your latest video in your bio i believe that's a very good tactic to get people to convert from your social media to your actual video i i've got a whole video on how to do a um how to basically promote your videos on twitter i highly suggest you check it out but the basics is you know get involved in a conversation around your niche um have a reply quickly to the uh the tweet in question and have the latest video that you want to promote in your bio and that will help you promote that video on a social media platform generally but again i don't think focusing on distributing your video anywhere is really going to help you i think reddit is a good place to get your video over there but they're really really they're not nice towards people who promote their stuff so if you create an alternate account and promote your stuff that might work or if you find a subreddit that doesn't really mind with you promoting your stuff then that may work but i think focusing on seo and focusing on videos that people are actually searching for like don't create a video and then try and optimize it for seo you can do that but i think you should be creating videos that people are already searching for so that you've already you're already able to bring in the traffic to those videos chuckle lump said okay i filled it out I, i'll check out your channel after mate um third question is does com comment in on other people's videos bring in views subs <sighs> now i'm not going to give you a definitive answer and say yes it can it definitely can and it's definitely worth doing definitely worth doing definitely worth commenting on videos or channels that are similar to yours as that will increase your exposure and it will create the chance for people to click through to your videos but don't comment on someone's video and be like hey check out my video i did a video on this or whatever actually comment something with that that adds to the conversation you want to comment a really great comment that type of thing will get people to come and check out your channel so say something that answers maybe answers the question in a video or or just have a really in-depth opinion on the video and let that be known in the comment section and you'll see more people coming through to your video but 
I think if you consistently do that, you'll get more views and subs and all that sort of stuff. But there's no real way to measure that and be like, yo, this is definitely getting me more views and subs. But it's also good for connecting with other people in your niche. If you constantly com um, comment on people's videos who are in your niche, then they're going to see that you're going to that you're consistently commenting on their video. And then you can eventually, you know, maybe collab with them and communicate with them on other social media platforms and get in touch with them and because you've been commenting on their videos so frequently they'll recognize your name and, and whatnot and they'll be more um, open to getting involved with you so uh, question number four is what are some ways i can help build the community your live stream videos your live stream videos are a great way to build community also you did have a few vlogs a little while back Let's see over here, urgent care or vacation. Do more vlogs. If you want to build community, you want to get people interested in you as a person, do hub content like these vlogs, these live streams, let's plays, that sort of stuff is the stuff that's going to build community. So you want to use the traffic generating videos, the how to's, the tips, that sort of stuff to, you know, bring people to your channel. Then you want to use the vlogs the live streams that sort of stuff to build the community and keep people involved in your channel also highly suggest creating a discord channel i think that will that will build community very very well and the earlier you do it the more people you're going to get into it and the easier it's going to be able to grow over time because you've started really really early and then you maybe you can promote that in your videos at the beginning or the end to uh pro probably at the end because those are the people who are going to be more engaged and more likely to actually come and join your discord ch channel so i'd suggest going through and, and doing that and you know that will enable you to communicate more in depth with your your community members let's actually check out one of your videos and see if you're replying to comments are you replying to comments because that's a good thing seems like you're replying to comments yeah reply to comments that's a good thing as well anisa says you're very right i love live streams see exactly personally I'm, i don't have time to watch people's live streams but um it's definitely good for building community um wow do i have a fucking hair on my tongue them ones so what is the goal of your YouTube, youtube channel you said i want to share my passion of gaming with others i like the technical parts of gaming so i like to make how-to videos really make more i haven't seen enough like i've seen one or two maybe three out of the 50 videos i've seen on your channel like you need to make more of those i'm not seeing enough and you've made the promise in your channel trailer that you're going to make how-to videos and i i feel like i've been duped there's not enough there's not enough how-to videos and trust me that's going to help you out a lot um you also say the only way this will be sustainable is if i'm making money i'm currently building a website i want to start building a business to make money off youtube in the planning phases of what that will look like now i want to do a lot of collabs with other people to grow quick collabs and that sort of stuff that's not something that i'm too big on i know other other youtube people and youtube gurus and experts will tell you you know do collabs as it will help you um reese tyree said it's just the past few videos the rest are from years ago i don't know what you're talking about are you you're not ray leah or have you made another have another channel i, I don't know um what was i saying <laughs> collabs collabs are they're double-edged sword because you gotta re you gotta rely on other people and I, I think any time where you're relying on other people and you're not relying on your own ability to do things, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. So I wouldn't suggest, um, you know, having your whole thing based on getting collabs. Like don't, don't have your whole growth strategy based on getting collabs. I think you can have a few collabs here and there, but honestly, I personally focus on growing my channel and then, you know, down the line, I'll, I may do a few collabs, but I like focusing on the things that i personally can control in terms of making money from your youtube channel you've got an amazon link mm -hmm. okay nintendo switch you're hosting a snes classic giveaway this is okay i'd say go to genius.com let me quickly show you the site now what this does is this will localize your Amazon uh, links. So right about now, uh, this link in your bio, this is probably, um, I'm, I'm assuming, I think you're from America. So this is likely going to be a uh, amazon.com link. Yes, it took me to amazon.com. And what this does is when you go to amazon.com, 
um, because I'm from the UK, you won't actually get a, you won't get a commission from that at all. You'll only get a commission from people who are actually clicking this link from the same country or the same uh, program that you signed up for. Now, if you go through Genius and you sign up to multiple Amazon programs, then this will localize the link to, you know, the program closest to the person who's clicking it and then you'll be able to earn more through that there's also another another site called kit.com that i highly suggest you check out um i, I pretty much like kit.com and i'm kind of moving away from genius to uh kit.com but genius do does have a free they do have a free version now before they didn't have a free tier and I was paying monthly for this until I found out that I didn't need to pay monthly and I was, you can imagine, I was extremely not pleased. I was pissed off that they had put out a free version and not told me at all. But they do have a free version and you can get up to a thousand clicks per month, which is, you know, good enough. Um, so definitely you can go through either of these. Kits more focused to creating kits of different, you know, different things, but you can also just use the single link from, you know, one of these products and have that in your, your little, you know, your description. I'd use the bit.ly link instead of, you know, using the whole long link from kit because it looks disgusting and it's very long. So yeah, focus. I would say if you want to make money, the easiest way is to focus on affiliate marketing videos like this great for affiliate marketing how to find the snes classic like this sort of shit is exactly what you want to do but here you you don't even have a pinned comment pointing to your affiliate mark your affiliate thing your affiliate link is all the way down here if making money is one of your priorities you need to get this up here like have the first line yeah and then have your affiliate link because the first line is good for seo and all that sort of stuff then have your affiliate link here also include your affiliate link in this uh in your pinned comment so it, it has more eyes on it because more people will see your pinned comment than the description because if we're being real most people won't be reading your description like it's very unlikely that a lot of people are going to be reading your description if you put in your pinned comment it's going to be way better also you said you got a website so what i do is i would set up a redirect with your website oh you've got a bunch of these videos around the snes yeah you could link those all together and, and get a bunch of affiliate stuff going with that i'd uh, set up a redirect from your site to your affiliate link so that you can have this pop up in a card and i'd also have like I'd tell people in the video, I'd actively tell people, please go through this link if you're going to purchase this as it will help out the channel. And that will encourage more people to click through it. And you'll get, you, I think you'll get more click throughs when you've got a call to action like that. Honestly, I haven't watched the whole video, so I'm not 100% sure if you have done that or not. But that will, that will help you make more money. I highly suggest you check out my um, affiliate marketing course if you go to what video is it how to start how to start making affiliate how to start with affiliate marketing on youtube gaming channel make more money on youtube go to that there's a link in the description where you can check out my affiliate marketing course and that will basically give you a lot of information in how to uh, make more money with your channel also you can join my affiliate program which will make you way more money than amazon's ever going to give you because they give you like to 10 percent if you're lucky if you're lucky you'll get 10 percent from amazon my affiliate program you get 50 percent if you purchase the book if you haven't purchased the book uh, a gamer's guide to greatness then you get a uh, 30 percent commissions which is just way better than anything you're going to be getting on amazon unless you're promoting really expensive products um so yeah and yeah so why do you want a channel review i think i'm following all the best practices or at least most of them i do extensive keyword research my videos on point tanks are on point but there's always way something yeah your tags i think there was one video that i saw previously that um could have had some improvement on the tags but these this this video is pretty pretty good like you you know what you're doing with tags you know long long um long phrases and targeting long tail keywords key phrases is better for you like you're doing that you're not doing bad you're you're good enough and yeah you've got most of the best practices down you've got a card there are you using end screens if you've got an end screen but you don't have an actual end screen um slate i'd suggest downloading my free end screen template on my um 
my site if you go to the blog and go to free downloads you'll be able to get the end screen template over there and that that will you know look a bit better i guess uh, but it's it's not i wouldn't say you know you have to do that so yeah that's that i believe <laughs> Uh, I think I gave you more than enough information to get you moving forward. Also, I would over here, I'd include a link to your website or a link to something that makes you money. So affiliate, maybe your Amazon link or something like that. F try and look for more affiliate programs um, based around the products that you're actually using. And also I'd say use kit.com ASAP and have something like your gaming setup, your streaming setup, um, games you've reviewed, this sort of stuff. Get this in your description so that you can make more money if people want to go through this and purchase the things that you're using that that will really help you out in the long term so yeah that's that channel let's see let's see the comments real quick anisa says sally have to go now have a good night mate appreciate it have a have a good night you um as well anisa i think you can tell i'm super tired <laughs> Uh, let's quickly uh, Chuckle Lunk Gaming You've sent me your You haven't sent me your YouTube link This is not a YouTube link This is a website Does that go to your YouTube? It does not go to your YouTube You've made up a website Okay, I can't review your video if you don't I mean, I can't review your channel If you don't give me your link Yeah, I can't I can't do that So <laughs> that's the end of the stream I only came to the stream to do this one review to be honest um hey crispy crazy card how you doing man if you're still here if you're still here chuckle lump minecraft if you quickly let me know that you're still here i'll do your review I'll, I'll review your channel but otherwise we're just gonna call it a night because honestly um sleep is something that i need to i need to get involved with. i got up at 8 a.m it's currently 11 p.m go watch uh, philly d and then go to sleep like that's that's my that's my routine So let me know. I get like 10 more seconds. But yeah, if you guys okay, Chuckle Lamp Gaming is still here. Alright, let me quickly let me quickly get the stream up. Do, 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 do. Reese Tyree says, I did ask, but you're busy. I have a shit channel anyway. Uh Reese, fill out the form in the description and I I will get to your channel eventually. I'll get to your channel. Probably not today because I just want to, honestly, I'm so tired that I'm just going to do this and then uh, I'm going to do this last channel review and then end the end the stream. But if you fill out the, the channel review form, I will get to your your channel the next time I, I go live. Uh, not Friday because Friday I've got the how to make more money with your YouTube gaming channel stream. That's going to be more of a lesson. Um, but I, I will I will come around to doing your channel eventually. So if you stay tuned, you turn on notifications and stuff, you'll be able to see that happen. Crispy Crazy Class, awesome job with the merch. I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> let me know if you buy a t-shirt. Uh, <laughs> let's uh, get back into it. Remember, guys, you can get my book, A Gamer's Guide to Greatness. It's going to help you guys out a ton. That's going to be fully released um, on March the 5th, that's next week, Monday. The price is gonna go up. Let's quickly show you. The price is currently $17.99, but the price is going to go up next week. So if you want it, I su highly suggest you get it now. I've basically got all the stuff in the pre-order package. So when you when you purchase it, you'll just get you'll get the you get the book, you'll get a bunch of the downloads. I think you get the um channel art template you'll get the channel what's it called the thumbnail template and um a bunch of other stuff you take paypal for my book yes yes you can use paypal you can use visa you can use a uh, credit card you can use whatever you want i i'm unsure if we're taking bitcoin i think i'm trying to take bitcoin i'm not sure if it if it worked i think i might have to go back and and set up the bitcoin thing but i'm trying to set it up so that i can take bitcoin as well because i want to get get into the the bitcoin thing uh reese says i've got a Fortnite channel you might want to check it honestly honestly reese like usually when people are like oh check out my channel and stuff i'm like not interested but i'm getting into Fortnite. 
I might actually want to check out your channel. So definitely uh, fill out the form for the channel review and we'll, we'll get to it. We'll get to it, man. Um, I'm actually really excited if you've got a Fortnite channel. Hopefully you're doing some good stuff over there that can help me get better at the game because, you know, I'm, I'm a noob at Fortnite. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get the link for, what's it called? Chuckle Lump Gaming. Crispy crazy class, so I thought Bitcoin dined out according to an article I read. Bit Bitcoin's not dead, man. Bitcoin's still out here. I actually invested a little bit in Bitcoin the other day when it was low. I was very, very excited. <laughs> I think I sold when it went to like 6,000 or something. And I shouldn't have done that. I should have held on to it because it went up to like 7K. Because basically I bought it at like 5K and then it went down to like 4K. And I was like, damn, damn, fam. Gotta, gotta sell this as soon as i can you know make my money back and then i'll get it when it goes lower when it goes to like 4k again and then it went to 7k and i i don't see it coming down for a little while so i'm a bit disappointed i didn't get to make a quick turnaround on bitcoin but honestly don't don't invest your savings in bitcoin guys <laughs> like if you got a little bit of spare change i suggest you know putting like a five pound here to bitcoin a, a two pound here why not it might improve over time Okay, you got no channel trailer. That needs to be changed. Um, this channel art is, bro, it's whack. I'm just going to be real with you. This channel art is is whack. This, this, um, what's it called? This color's not working. It really isn't working. Um, it's not, it's not making it easy for me to read at all. It's making it quite difficult. I'd get rid of this and you need to as i said to, for the guy previously let me know what kind of videos you're making let me know how often you're uploading thumbnails not too bad um could be better okay no nah, they could be better this this i was like okay you know it's fortnite trolls and you got a, a bunch of troll things could be very much better i believe uh your titles are terrible uh, i'm assuming you got no descriptions come on guys i've got <laughs> Like, I've got so many videos telling you the basics. Please, check out the basics before you ask for a channel review because it's, it's so important. Like, go get my um, video SEO explained ebook for free. It will tell you how to title, tag, and write your descriptions. Get it. Ace. Actually, if you've, if you've applied for a channel review, I will be, I'll be sending your email to the, to the list where you'll get the, the actual free ebook, which will teach you how to do this stuff. Um, that's actually a chat, a chapter from my, my book, A Gamer's Guide to Greatness. So you can learn about, you know, how to, how to title tag and do all that sort of stuff and get more views on your videos. Um, let's actually get rid of those. But yeah, it's, these titles, terrible. No one's searching for Fortnite trolls. And if they even are, you haven't got a description here that's going to help anyone out and you've got no tags. I, I, there's, there's nothing I can do for your channel right about now. I would say watch my previous like seven live streams where I go through a bunch of channels like yours who haven't done the basic stuff and I've I told them exactly what they need to do because yeah that will let you know exactly what you need to do there's no point in me repeating myself here um I've I've got a bunch of content there a bunch of in-depth things that you can do to improve your channel definitely go check that out and look at look at someone else's channel look at my channel see what i'm doing and change your channel <laughs> to be more closer to what i'm doing because it will be better like you've got i bet you've got no playlists wait actually you do have playlists that's good uh no you don't it's just past live streams popular uploads and uploads you don't have playlists yeah get playlists in there as well as i said check out the previous live streams i've gone over this again and again and again and again and that'll teach you a, a bunch of stuff and allow you to learn what you can be doing to improve your channel instead of what you're doing which is just flinging out video three weeks ago not not enough man you need to be making more videos than this you shouldn't be waiting three weeks in between videos to upload that is not good enough that's not good enough at all you gotta pick it up mate you gotta pick it up so yeah that is going to be the end of the stream i just thought i'd get i'd get this in here real quick um and review this channel because um he seemed like a cool dude um he's also in the roberto blake discord like i am and and we'll have a like, conversation and stuff and i wanted to give him some more in-depth advice on how to how to improve his channel and stuff and I, I saw potential in the channel so i thought you know cool cool beans let's let's let him know how to actually grow it 
But yeah, that's going to be the end of the stream. <laughs> Thanks for coming through, guys. I will be having a stream on Friday on how to make more money with your gaming channel. It's going to be an in-depth lesson where I've, I've, I've planned out the... Um, I've got like a... Not spreadsheet. What is it called? What is it called when you've got... The, I've got a presentation. I've got a presentation. I'm going to be going through that to tell you guys exactly what you need to do. I'm going to be giving you, I think, about seven different ways that you can make money with your YouTube gaming channel. I did do a, a live stream like this about like last year, October, I think. Maybe a little bit um, before that. Uh, this is going to be an updated version. I've learned a lot of stuff since then. I've learned a lot of better methods to make, be to make more money, to optimize your stuff. And that's really going to help you out. Chuckle Lump Gaming says, I've got no time. I have school. That's an excuse. You do have time. Everyone's got time. Um, you just need to make better priorities. If you want to make the time to make videos, you will make the time to make videos. You can make a five minute video in 30 minutes. Like anyone can do that. And that's what you should be doing in order to um, make content that people are actually searching for and answer questions that people actually have instead of uploading gameplay and let's plays because no one gives a shit let's be real no one cares I, um and i know it might sound harsh but no one cares about your gameplay you gotta get people interested in the first place and then people may care about your gameplay stop uploading a bunch of gameplay because as i said no one gives a shit like make videos that people actually search for ask qu answer questions that people have answer the questions that you had when you first started playing Fortnite, for example answer those like i'm gonna make a video i'm gonna give you the idea because i'm probably gonna make this in i don't know two weeks when i've got time to make more videos like i personally have that de dedicated my time over the past two months to uh getting everything set up for my book launch and whatnot but i had time to make videos if i wanted to i made nine videos yesterday but I, if I wanted to make videos, that would have been what I wanted to do, but I wanted to focus on other things and that's what I did. But over the next two weeks, I'm probably going to make a video on how to, um, what is it? That's something that I didn't know how to do in Fortnite. I forgot what it was, but like, you know, um, I don't know what the title is going to be, but you know, when you're destroying something in Fortnite, how to basically, um, destroy things quicker. Like when you um, hit the little circles because i totally didn't know that so that's going to be a video that i'm going to make so you know go make that video go make that video re says you said no one gives a shit with gameplay but you up uploaded a video of your live stream in fortnite well reese if you did your research and if you watched the actual live stream you'd know that i did that live stream in order because uh, my pc wasn't working and i couldn't do any work so that's why i did the live stream uh because i just wasn't able to do anything but the thing is when you're starting out no one cares about your your gameplay videos that is the point i'm trying to get across because no one knows who you are yet and no one's searching for you and no one's searching for your gameplay videos so if you're sitting around making a bunch of gameplay videos and no one's searching for you and no one's finding your content you're gonna get no views and that's just the truth and before making, you know, my my gameplay videos or my live streams um, recently, I've made over, I've made hundreds and hundreds and hu I've made over 2,000 videos. So at this point, I can make gameplay videos. If you want to become a channel where you do Let's Plays and you make a lot of gameplay videos and you do live streams, you can do that eventually. But you want to start out making a bunch of tutorial videos and making videos that people are actually searching for so that you get the traffic into your channel, you get people to subscribe, you get people to care about the content that you're making, and then you can get them to watch your, your hub content, which it's called, which is the, the gameplay videos, the live streams, and that sort of stuff. If you don't have the search-friendly content to get people to the hub content, then a very, very low amount of people are going to be watching your hub content. And that's just the way the cookie crumbles. If you want to, you've got to create a strategic market marketing strategy to get people to actually watch those hub content videos and you get them in through the search friendly content like someone's on youtube they're searching how to do this they find your video on how to do this they see that you have seven other videos around this, the same to topic they check out three of them they're like okay this is a good channel this this has content that i like they check out your channel header it says that you're going to be delivering more content like this your channel trailer says that they subscribe they're like okay let's get involved and then, you know, then you can get them to watch your hub content. Uh, Kashi says, I bet you bought his subs. You literally barely get 1K views on your vids and you have 20K, 23K views, um, 23K subs. 
I'm actively growing subs every single day. Um, I had 20k subs. Uh, what was it? In January, I I think no, in December I hit 20k, and I'm already at 23k. If you think I bought subs, honestly, I don't give a shit anymore. Only people who are kids think that because they don't know how YouTube works. I focus on making evergreen content. So the thing is, my videos will get views over time. I can make a video today that gets 20 views. In six months, it's going to have over a thousand views. And I don't care about views because when you're trying to play the views game, like you are trying to target young kids on YouTube. And I don't give a shit about young kids on YouTube. That's not my target audience at all hey relay he says hey man glad to catch you live i just reviewed your channel relay so when this when this um when this stream ends go back and check out the, the review because I, I did uh, check out your channel and give you a review but yeah basically i focus on evergreen content also my channel was built up through doing a lot of experimentation and trying a lot of different things playing a lot of different games so just because i have 23,000 subscribers doesn't mean 23,000 people subscribe to me to watch me play arc they didn't um about probably if we're being real let's say three to five thousand people probably subscribe to me to watch me play arc that is probably even being you know generous with the estimate let's say two thousand people subscribe to me recently to see me play arc but i've made so many different types of content and i've got a variety channel which means that i'm going to have lower view to subscriber ratio i've made a video on view to subscriber ratio and how to improve your view to subscriber ratio i know how to get better view to subscriber ratio but i don't want view to better view to subscriber ratio i want to be able to do whatever the fuck i want on my channel that makes me happy not seeing a bunch of thousands of views i would prefer to have 200 views on my channel from adults who have cash to spend that can actually spend money and you know <laughs> um help me create an income than have a hundred thousand views of kids who ain't gonna spend any money and i've got to make money off adsense so if you're trying to make money off adsense you're doing this wrong you're doing this so wrong that is the worst way to make money um, and that's why I'm doing the live stream on Friday to teach you guys how to make money on your YouTube gaming channel without just relying on AdSense AdSense because it is literally the worst way to make money on your channel and if you're going for that then you will be targeting the young people on YouTube because they have more disposable time they're going to watch more of your videos I target older people like 18 up 20 like I'm 24 so I'm targeting people my age and up that's that's the type of people that I want around me the type of people that I want on my channel I don't need kids on my channel at this like, why would I want to conversate with kids like let's be real there are some kids on my channel and some of them are cool like you know shout out to you kids who are cool if you're cool then you know you can you can be out here i'm cool with you but i am not out here trying to please kids that is not that is not my goal out here i'm trying to reach the adults and adults have less disposable time they got responsibilities they got jobs they got things that they're trying to do they got goals that they're trying to achieve in life they're not out here watching youtube videos all the time but you know what adults have they got money in the bank they can buy products they can buy shit they can actually feed my income streams and actually enable me to make a full-time living off youtube instead of me just trying to pander to kids to make the pittance the pittance that you make on adsense jesus christ is a pittance like, i don't even make five dollars per thousand views on my adsense my adsense is pretty low if we're being real um so adsense isn't, isn't the way to to move forward Relay says how many years have you been at it well i've been on youtube i would say i think since june 20 2011 um let's actually go to my youtube channel not june 2011 i don't know what uh, day i actually got on youtube but i think it's like 2011 or 2009 but i started my youtube channel in an, in an attempt to promote my music so i wasn't doing like up gaming videos until quite recently Ah, February 2011. So I started doing, um, what's it called? Videos to promote my music, music videos, stuff like that. Then I did a few vlogs. Then um, I did, I think I did my how to write a rap song video, which if we go to that, this is another reason why I am growing exponent, why I continue to grow uh, consistently and continue to get views 
on my videos because I make videos that last forever. I'm not out here trying to do trending content, which a lot of YouTubers do. They focus on trying to make content that gets out to th their subscribers and gets you know thousands of views in the first 48 hours or something, but then those videos don't do shit over time. That's not what I'm trying to do. As you can see, this video, How to Write a Rap Song, is ranking on the first page of YouTube. It's number three. It's currently got 952,000 views when i uploaded this it probably had 50 views <laughs> and when i realized that it was doing well i think it had like 50,000, and it just consistently grows like look at this it was low consistently grow and it's growing more it's growing more and more and it continues to grow more and more this is what i'm trying to teach you don't worry about trying to create a video that gets a hundred thousand views when you upload it stop doing that that's what the big youtubers can do because they've already built a subscriber base of people who want their content who are checking their stuff out and you know if you niche down and you focus on one specific thing or one specific game then you're gonna have a better view to subscriber ratio a hundred percent me personally i like to do whatever i want on my channel i like to be able to do my how to write a rap song video and i'm gonna start i'm gonna make music again this year that's gonna be something that not all my subscribers are gonna be interested in but i don't care i'm gonna do what i want to do i'm not beholden to my subscribers or beholden to the kids on youtube like i'm able to do what i want to do and that's what makes me happy and at the end of the day you need to do what makes you happy because when you're happy and you're passionate about something you're going to work a hundred times harder than if you're not happy and you're just you're just doing it for the sake of getting numbers and trying to make money off adsense by getting millions of views and all that sort of stuff so i really want you guys to to move away from that and um you know focus on thinking long term because that will help you out way more than thinking short term and thinking okay this video needs to get thousands of views and then it doesn't get thousands of views and then you're all um you know upset about it and, and all that sort of stuff so yeah make sure you think about the long term you don't worry about these kids on youtube that will say oh you you're not getting thousands of views in in your um on your videos don't worry about them they don't know shit about youtube only people who are actively out here making content know about youtube and those are the only people who you should be taking the opinions of if someone's out here and they don't make content then their opinion on how youtube works is useless they don't know what they're talking about i'm out here i've been making content for ages uh, as you saw 2011 what is it 2018 didn't know what i was doing until about 2016 when i made my metal gear solid video and that went you know that that went off and then i realized okay this is this is get bringing in a bunch of views i'm ranking for this how do i rank for videos let's try that let's find out how to rank for videos let's make videos that rank let's do this let's create a strategy then i learned how to do stuff and now i'm at a point where i know what i'm doing and i'm at the point where i'm able to help you guys create channels that actually work and actually you know do well over time relea says have you done much in the way of collabs no i have not i don't think i've done pff, i don't think i've done one collab on my channel have i done collabs no, I don't think I've done any collabs because I, as I said earlier, when I was reviewing the channel, because um, I answered your questions that you wrote in the, the channel review thing, I personally don't like relying on other people. I, I despise it, to be honest, if we're being real. I despise relying on other people. I'm really strongly against it because it puts you at a disadvantage. Anytime you're not in full control of your destiny, oh, destiny sounds a bit kooky. Anytime you're not in full control of what you're trying to do, or a goal you're trying to accomplish you're going to be put at a disadvantage and anytime i've relied on someone else generally when i've relied on someone else and i've been like okay when they come through this is going to get done usually doesn't get done so i'm not out here trying to rely on collabs i highly suggest you you move away from that mindset although having a few collabs here and there will it will be good for you but i wouldn't suggest you have that as the crux of your strategy i believe you know focusing on creating a bunch of content that ranks that's good for seo and creating some hub content to build community and you know creating a good content plan is going to help you out way more than being like okay i need to do collabs with everyone because that's gonna get me more views and more subscribers focus on what you can do and stop thinking about what other people can help you do basically and you'll be you'll put yourself in a better position and then you'll you'll have more stuff to bring to the table like i would love to collab with um a gentleman who uh, I, I like his content called Jade Play Games. 
Jay plays games, I believe. He, I think he's actually subscribed to the channel. He popped into a, a live stream a couple of weeks ago um, and asked me to review his channel. It was pretty interesting. I didn't really expect that, but I'd love to collab with him. But he's currently on like sixty thousand subscribers or something, and I'm on twenty three thousand. So I'm not even, I'm not even gonna waste my time asking him to collab. I want to get to where he's at, and then I'm gonna be like, yo, <laughs> yo, let's get involved. Or I want to bring something to the table. Be like, yo, um, I see what you're doing over here. I can help you out with this let's do that and then you know we'll move forward with that but you know i've just been focusing on the book launch all that sort of stuff so i haven't really been reaching out to anyone or doing anything like that but maybe this is the year where i do a few more collabs uh gonna be launching the jay carter ratio podcast so i'm gonna really uh look to get in more youtubers like upcoming youtubers on the podcast so i can talk with them and see what their struggles are and basically you know have conversations with them and see what's up um, from from that from their point of view and have interesting conversations. So that's going to be very interesting. Um, those are also going to be uploaded to my YouTube channel, Raylia. If you're interested in that, let me know. I'd love to have you on. Um, the the podcast should be released in March, but obviously I need to deal with that. Um, so bear with me. But when that's out, I definitely want to do a few a few um a few interviews and stuff like that with upcoming youtubers to uh basically you know how i like podcasting i like having conversations with people and i think it'll be really interesting to have conversations with a bunch of people and, and do that sort of stuff so i'm really excited to do that and that's probably going to be most of my collabs this year we're going to be doing a bunch of podcasting and that that will be uploaded to my channel as well and if you got a channel i'll put in the description and all that sort of stuff but don't expect a bunch of people to go subscribe to you you might get 20 subscribers i don't know i don't know how it's going to convert but you know i think the the whole process of being in a in a podcast is is going to be good anyways because you know it's it's, it's great for branding and it's great for just getting out there and it's, it's just great experience and it's good for having the conversations and stuff so uh yeah Rayleigh said i'll sign for a podcast i i will try to remember that and get back to you when the podcast is out um if you see the podcast release and i haven't got back to you message me because i i do a lot of shit so i i forget things at times so you know bear with me but i'm a man of my word if i say i'm gonna get you on a podcast i'm gonna get you on a podcast we'll we'll, we'll get it done 100 percent this year you'll be on a podcast hold me to that i said it live on stream like it's definitely gonna happen as long as you know you come like as i said i got a, that's me relying on you in it so you gotta make sure that you're there and you're 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 ready to be involved and whatnot but i definitely will be so yeah that's the end of the the, the stream as i said ray uh wait for the thing to upload and and be able for you to watch it from the beginning i did your channel review i think it's going to help you out a lot um just off the top of my head do more how-to videos and tip videos because your your trailer says that you're going to do that and didn't see enough of that on your channel felt a little bit cheated but um yeah focus on that that'll get you more traffic it'll get you more subscribers get you more views and in the next six months it'll do a lot for your channel but yeah you've done you've already you've been on here for two months and you've got a thousand subscribers that's fucking amazing be proud of yourself you really should be proud of yourself that that, is, that was really good um just knowing that you've done that and you're you look like you're getting about things the right way i've got high hopes for you and that is why i was so passionate to you know come and do this live stream and quickly review your channel because i saw the potential and i really wanted to uh comment on it and, and give you some advice so yeah, that's going to be the end of the stream. Thanks for coming through. Uh, peace out. I'm going to go watch uh, Philly D episode and get to fucking sleep because <laughs> it's it's getting late, me. And I'm getting tired, me. So yeah, I'll see you guys on Friday when I will be doing my how to make more money on your YouTube gaming channel video, uh, not video, live stream. But if you want to buy the book, you can go buy it. Uh, grow on youtube.com forward slash guide link will be in the description below remember price is gonna go up when it launches on march the 5th so if you want to get it highly suggest you get it asap so you can get it at the reduced price of 17.99 before it goes up to 29.99 pardon me see you guys next time